folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 50 minutes or so discussing some of the exciting advancements that are being brought to us by one of our favorite ancillary carriers, for want of a better term. We're looking at some of the enhancements that Emeritus has made to their systems and to their programs here just in time for AEP. We're really excited about that possibility because that's probably the most predominant and asked for extra benefits that you can get when we enter into the Medicare enrollment season, be it MedSup or MA as a choice. Um, these are programs that are in demand and are of great help to us in many different ways. Um, so we're, we're pleased that uh, our friends over at Emeritus uh, can, Emeritus, I, I keep pronouncing it wrong, pardon me, um, have come to help us and explain some of the, the changes that are being made. Today's presentation is being recorded and will be made available on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well as the video updates. You'll see in the software system that there's a section for both questions and chat. We ask that you put your questions in the questions box. We find that we cover them generally through the course of the presentation, but because of the type of material that's being presented today, we may have more questions than usual, and we wanna make certain that we answer them for you so you get full value out of today's presentation. Um, we offer these programs to a wide variety of agents. So for some of you, some of the information may be a bit of a review, which isn't always bad. That's a good thing to go back and make certain that we have our ducks in a row, but we wanna make certain that we deliver upon information we feel that can be useful for you now and throughout the year. So let's start with a little bit of level set about who Premier Marketing is. We're a national marketing organization founded in 1968, it's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform. We're licensed in all 50 states. And we act as an insurance wholesaler working with independent insurance agents such as yourself through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. We do so through a full portfolio of products that include the base Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement Plans, and the standalone Part D prescription drug programs. But we also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, including final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and those ancillary benefits like what we'll discuss today that can be such a difference maker for you, for your agency, and not only because of the extra income and, and marketing opportunities you have, but that opportunity to fulfill an, a solution for needs that our prospects and clients have. And so when we look at Medicare Advantage, we see a, the national carriers available through our organization, in addition to some of the strong regionals. Many of these programs do have ancillary benefits embedded in their programs, but sometimes they're just not enough. So we wanna look at the possibility here with this solution for folks based medical. That same thing may apply to prescription drug programs where our philosophy of having the national carriers come into play, these all normally come as part of the contract with the Medicare Advantage programs, an exception being Mutual of Omaha, separate from their other programs, and Clever RX, which is a discount program. When we run across someone who has just prescription drug plans, they're normally self-insuring for the shortfall in the Medicare coverages, and so, Programs like what we discussed today are of great help to these individuals as well. When we look at Medicare supplements, you have a broad portfolio of products. Uh, we have the different programs that put into play to help you market and be effective in this space. And keep in mind that these programs generally, if they have any help with ancillary programs, it's a base discount program that may be of some or little value. Um, but these folks are great prospects for programs like what we'll discuss today. And those are the ancillary benefits. In each of these categories, we have the national leaders there for you, including our guest today with Emeritus. And we thank them for coming on the line to help us demonstrate how these programs can not only drive additional business because of marketing opportunities, creating that additional uh, revenue for ourselves and our agency, but making certain that we cover the needs of our prospects and clients 
with programs to do, to basically take care of that particular need that we've identified. So when we look at the Medicare market, obviously you come on these programs and we see the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day, some withholding all of their access to Medicare for one reason or another, working past the age of 65. And then we have the folks that make up for those numbers that are under the age of 65 and on Medicare because of medical disability. In each of these categories, we have a natural prospect for today's topic because the programs that we speak to today are not just for folks 65 and above. So we can address these different needs no matter what the choice is for our prospect and how they're looking to cover their particular uh, financial obligations through the Medicare system. And we see that it's a fairly even split of their choices between Medicare Advantage and Medi Medicare Supplement plans. So it's a broad audience that we're appealing to and we can communicate with them properly through the use of, sometimes we need an acronym guide, we need a definer, we need a dictionary. And you can see this slide's getting a few months old, a little more than that probably by now. And when I pulled this off of cms.gov, look at that. 4,420 acronyms. Some of them are common sense, M-I-C, K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, but some of them, hey, even those that have been in the industry for a long, long time sometimes need a bit of help. This makes certain that we're communicating properly, and it reminds us to define those acronyms so folks know what we're talking about, and perhaps even we limit our use of them in order to make certain that we're properly getting our points apart across. We're about to enter into the annual election period for this year. Uh, marketing period comes up at the 1st of October. Can't sell anything until the enrollment period of October 15th through December 7th. And then we have the different uh, enrollment election periods that follow after that and special election periods that allow us to change coverages for certain individuals throughout the year. Whatever these periods are, we need to realize that the programs that we offer, the ancillary benefits that we offer, are not affected by these regulations. So you have a little different approach that you can use. Um, you can enroll people throughout the year. And an important point that we sometimes forget as we enter into that annual election period, remember the folks we enroll for a 1-1 effective date on Medicare Advantage programs or PDP programs, prescription drug plans, we don't get paid on them until after the first of the year. So programs like what we discussed today can create that revenue that helps us level out that bump a bit and make certain that these folks that aren't looking at their benefits year over year, and the majority aren't, we can realize that these folks can be prospects for us now as well. So we don't have to wait in order to help people with these specific needs because, hey, they probably haven't looked at them. They may be ignoring Joe Namath and J.J. Walker and William Shatner and everybody else on TV, um, thankfully, hopefully. However, it gives us the opportunity to speak to specifics. Do they need help with uh, dental work, whatever it takes? Because, hey, if they've even just got a PDP program, they're not looking year over year. They really need our help. They're not using government information to help. They're not even using some of the things on the internet that are really simple. Look at this piece. Almost, well, doing a little bit of math, seven-year-old video. You've got now over 63 million people on Medicare, and you have a less than a whopping million views of this. Hey, 200 of them are probably me. They're not looking at these details on the internet. And some of the tools that are available now, well, some folks may be using the app that's on uh, available on the App Store or Google Play. I'll guarantee it's not a big percentage. And folks generally aren't even reading their Medicare and You book that's available either to them electronically or delivered through the United States Postal System. This can be a great tool for us to help market today's products because there's a section in there, of course, that says uh, what is and isn't covered, what is not covered. And we see many of the uh, programs that we discussed today, well, they're on that big X list not covered. So we want to make certain they're doing it. 
keep in mind, this is showing 2021. There's one from 2022. There's a version for 2023 out, but it's still got 2022 numbers in it. So keep that in mind. One of the things Kaiser Family Foundation makes very plain to us is that regular Medicare offers only limited dental services. So some of the things that folks may have become accustomed to through coverage through work may not be available to them as they go on original Medicare only, unless they do something specific to address that issue. And that includes a whole bunch of folks that are on Medicare that haven't when it comes to dental coverage. I still have a burning image on my mind of one of the appointments I made in central Dallas, where I spoke to the individual on the basic program, went through all that, went through the ancillary programs, got to the dental coverage. He pulls his dentures out, puts them on the table, and he goes, that's my dental coverage. I don't need any help. Well, not everybody has that same attitude. And for those of those that don't have dental coverage, they may well welcome the information you have available to deliver to them on how we can help them uh, in these areas. Because it can also reveal a number of other challenges that folks have. Folks are generally worried about going to the dentist because they're worried about the cost. But once they get in there, uh, you'll find that it is an opportunity for them to make certain that good dental hygiene can affect their entire health situation and can make a difference. We also wanna make certain that the carriers we work with allow for modern thinking in a manner of speaking, uh, the new normal that comes into play where a lot of information is delivered electronically and that entire sales process may be part of a virtual experience. We wanna, however, make certain that our partners give us the opportunity to use those tools for those folks that still want the sit across the kitchen table, shake hands, kiss babies, and get elected type of thing. We work with partners that enable us to fulfill the needs of agents by making these tools available to make you more effective, more compliant, and more efficient. And so we're looking at a population that's been trained to take information this way. Think of it. Ever since the pandemic started, there's a whole lot of doctor visits that are still virtual. There are, be it primary care specialists, many of the pieces of preliminary work for hospitals are done virtually. Heck, we're even celebrating our faith through digital means. So we have a population that is much more willing and able to receive information in this fashion. And we want to make certain then that we work with folks that can help us in that area. Because remember, the more product you have in a household, doesn't have to be with the same company, just has to be with that same agent, you, it drives up your retention. Your persistency is higher. And that's the renewals that make up our salary month over month, year over year. So without further ado, we're going to invite our friend Taylor Davis. He's a regional managing director for Emeritus uh, to come on and visit with us about some of the details that are being made available to us the additional information that we have that comes to us from Emeritus. Taylor, I'm gonna switch control over to you, sir. And there you go, you have the helm. Awesome, thanks so much, John. You're always a, a wealth of information when it comes to anything and everything, insurance, and especially, you know, here, open enrollment, AEP, right around the corner. I wanna say thank you everyone for joining the webinar. I know there's um, 101 things that you probably have on your plate. Um, gearing up for this busy season. So I appreciate you jumping on here, learning a little bit more about Emeritus. As John alluded to, you know, some of the new features um, that we have launched, uh, one of those features we launched about a week ago, another feature we launched about a month ago. So very, very new features that I think will really help um, your business, uh, not only in the ancillary space, but really your whole portfolio. Uh, as always, we're going to go over how our product stands out from the pack through our no waiting periods, next day effective dates, one of the largest networks in the industry. Um, and also we're gonna be going over some great marketing sites um, and also our producer portal, that we, a, a new one that we launched about two months ago um, that gives you now the capability of viewing your whole book of business. In the past, you really weren't able to do that. You could in a roundabout way on the producer portal. 
today, now when you go to the producer portal, you can view your book of business, you can view cancellations, you can view who enrolled today, all sorts of information that you can do um, on that new producer portal. Also, I'm going to go over a little bit um, that member value, that member portal, what members can view, um, not only their product, right? When, when we have a client partner with us, you know, we're just not giving them a product. We're giving them a whole suite of, of, uh, of different things that they can use um, to improve their health. So I'll go over that here in just a little bit as well. John's already covered a ton of AEP and open enrollment, so we won't touch a ton on that. Uh, we're going to primarily focus on our products, how it's going to benefit you, uh, not only through open enrollment and AEP, but you're able to sell this 365 days, 24 hours a day, every day of the week, you're able to sell dental and vision. So we're going to hone in more on that. Uh, and then if you have questions at the end, we're going to cover those as well. So first off, what's new here at Emeritus? Number one thing we launched about a week ago, I think it's a week ago today, is what's called credit for prior coverage. What that means is if a client's coming off of another dental plan, a fully insured dental plan, whether that's group or individual, and it's been active for the past 12 months, we'll give them year two coinsurance benefits. So if you write our product today, and I'll go over here in just a little bit, as you know, we have a two-tiered aspect when it comes to coinsurance. Year one coinsurance, and then it jumps up in year two. So if someone's coming off of another plan, a fully insured dental plan, and it's been active for 12 months, we'll bump that, those up to year two coinsurance benefits. We'll go over a whole lot more of that here in just a little bit. Second thing is weekly commissions. We're going to be week, uh, launching weekly commissions October 1st. That's uh, here in a couple of days. That first weekly commissions paycheck will come, I believe, on the 8th of October. Um, today, again, if you write with us, you'll know that we pay monthly commissions. Uh, that's not going to be the case here. Come October 1st, we're switching to weekly commissions. And last and certainly not least, something that we've heard um, heard about in, in the years past is having a producer portal that you can really dive into, view your book of business. I mean, that's one of your, uh, other than selling the business, is keeping track of your business. Um, and I think that uh, we've done a great job on, on providing that to you with our new producer portal that I'll go over here in just a little bit. So before I go into the products, go over a little bit more about CPC, I'm going to touch on a little bit about why Emeritus. Why should out of all the uh, products you have out there, all the, all the carriers when it comes to dental and vision, why does Emeritus stand out? Um, we, we've been in the dental space for a very long time. We're in all 50 states, so you don't have to worry about it. if you do sell in multiple states. You don't have to switch through dental plans, right? You always can offer Prime Star Dental in all 50 states. Um, another thing is uh, we honed greatly on our network. Um, it is the Emeritus Network. Uh, one of the questions you might get is, okay, what's the provider persistency, right, inside the Emeritus Network? I know clients um, have asked me that all the time, and it's 98%. So when this comes into play is if a client saying, you know, I've been going to Dr. Joe on Main Street for the past 30 years. Dr. Joe is currently in the network. But what's going to happen two, three years down the road? Well, 98% chance they're going to continue to always be in our network. Product innovation, we hone in on this every year. We look how can we add more um, economic value to our products, whether that's increasing the maximum, um, whether that's increasing the coinsurance, adding things like LASIK or teeth whitening or hearing benefits, and also credit for prior coverage. Every year we look at our products, how can we kind of reinvent the wheel? How can dental and vision be better? We do that every year. So you'll see this year, we, we, we've looked at our plans, we've heard from clients, we've heard from agents. We're not gonna be doing anything really to the products themselves, but one thing that we heard a lot of is credit for prior coverage. And that's something um, that we have launched about a week ago. So other than network and products and all that information, we have no waiting period. So even if they're not coming off of a, a, another product, meaning credit for prior coverage, two out of three of our plans don't have waiting periods. So if you need implants, crowns, dentures, your clients can go as soon as tomorrow on two of our plans and get those procedures. We also cover implant coverage. Uh, teeth whitening, LASIK, gone over that a little bit. Um, our enrollment process is very, very seamless. I'll dive deeper into that here, here, here in a couple minutes. 
But once you do get contracted here at Emeritus, what happens is we send you a personalized hyperlink. That personalized hyperlink is uniquely tied to you. That's how you quote and that's how you enroll. So the enrollment link is totally separate than your producer portal that, that holds all of your business. Your, your hyperlink is how you quote and how you enroll. enroll. There's no login when you're enrolling a client. So when a client can enroll themselves. We have a lot of agents who put that hyperlink up on their website. They put it in their email signature. There's just a lot of different ways that you can use that uh, enrollment link that we supply you. Next day benefits. Um, so if you're talking to a client today, you can have effective date of as soon as tomorrow or 90 days out. Our products, all three of our products are 18 and older. Uh, the owner of the policy has to be 18 or older. Uh, the dependents can be, of course, younger than 18. And we are zip code rated. We're not age rated. So that plays a huge factor. If a client currently is 64 and they're turning 65 here come February, their rates aren't going to increase just because of their age. We are zip code rated. So if someone's 18 and someone's 90, they have the same rates if they're in the same zip code. So our network, um, other than the product itself, I think network is um, the most important thing, right? We want the no waiting periods. We want the next day effective dates, but network plays a huge part in dental. And I say that because here at Emeritus, our network is one of the largest out there. We have more than 580,000 access points and 131,000 providers nationwide. Last I read, there's about 180, 183 providers nationwide. So it really shows you how large our network is. We also do have providers in Mexico as well. But the big thing when you're looking at network is those negotiated rates. So we have a very large team here at Emeritus who focus on and talk to those providers about how to get the best savings for the client. Right now, we're averaging about 30% when, when you're talking uh, about a provider in general. So if a provider's with Emeritus, their average negotiated rate on dental procedures is 30%. That's huge. Without even talking about the product itself, you're already saving that client on average about 30%. Our negotiated rates are anywhere from 25 to 50%. So we would love to have 100% of the providers out there, but we want to partner with those providers who give the best economic value, who give the best negotiated rates. On our vision networks, we have both IMED and BSP. So say thing with that member flexibility that, that, a, that a client has um, on, the, on the dental side of going in or out of network, the client has that member flexibility at that point of enrollment on vision to either go with VSP or IMED. We have both. So dental overview, after this slide, we're gonna go more into credit for prior coverage, um, you know, what that entails, how it works, what's gonna be needed on the enrollment process. But the dental overview here at Emeritus and what we're really known for is having no waiting periods on two out of three of our products. You can go as soon as tomorrow. So even if you don't have CPC, credit for prior coverage, you still don't have waiting periods. Also that product simplicity. We don't wanna have 50 different products for you to choose from. We have three products, and they're really a niche product for, for different uh, demographics, meaning we have one that has child ortho, one that has teeth whitening um, and LASIK, another one that has a hearing benefit with a little bit higher maximums. We also have a value plan that if someone's budget is more in that $20, $19, $20 range, we have a product for them as well. So really we cover all avenues when you are talking to a client. So credit for our coverage, um, we launched this uh, a week ago today. Um, so if your client is replacing a fully insured dental plan, we'll give them year two co-insurance benefits. The gap in coverage can't be any more than 60 days. So if you're talking to a client today and they said, well, yeah, I used to have a, a, a plan and I had it active for 12 months, but I canceled it, you know, 55 days ago, that's okay, we'll still give them credit for prior coverage. It just can't be longer than a 60 day gap in coverage. Also, um, we're not asking for a lot of information on the enrollment process. Um, we're not asking for you to fax in an ID card. We're not asking you to send in via email. We're not asking for any information um, about the product details. 
The only thing we're asking are three simple questions during the enrollment process. One is who was the previous carrier? Second is what, that, what was that uh, policy number? And third, when was that termination date? And that's it, right? We're not asking you to send anything to us, um, three questions, and they get credit for prior coverage. And it is that year two coinsurance. So when we go through these products here in just a little bit, I'll show you where that plays a factor. CPC today is not available in all states. Um, there's 11 that, that currently don't have credit for prior coverage. The biggest one probably be in Florida, but there's Indiana, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Oregon, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Washington. Um, I, you know, I can see some of those states getting approved um, here, here probably Q1, Q2 of 2023. But as of today, those 11 states do not have credit for prior coverage. So the first product we're going to be going over is PrimeStar Total. Uh, we launched PrimeStar Total uh, last year. Uh, it's been a great product for us. Uh, I see a lot of um, the Medicare clients going towards PrimeStar Total. But again, these products are 18 and older. Uh, one of the reasons I see that is we do have a little bit higher maximum. Out of all the plans, it does have the highest max. And also, it does cover hearing as well. So the dental max benefit on PrimeStar Total starts off at 2000 day one, jumps up to 2500 in year two. Preventive Plus is a really unique feature that we have on all three of our plans. What Preventive Plus means is preventive services do not go towards the max benefit. So to give you an example, we cover preventive at 100% day one. So a client, you sign a client up today, tomorrow they go to the dentist, they get an exam, they get a cleaning, let's say that costs $200. That $200 does not go towards that 2000 max benefit. We're gonna pay 100% of it, but it does not go towards the max benefit. Really cool, unique feature. Our, deduct our deductibles are the same across the board on all three products. Again, back to that product simplicity, $0 for preventive, $50 for basic and major. As mentioned already, our preventive coverage is 100% day one with prime start total. Basic is 80%, goes to 90%, very high. 80% is high in year one, 90% super high. Uh, in year two for basic. Major, yes, it's even implants. It's covered at 20% day one, jumps up to 50% in year two. Uh, we do have a hearing exam benefit, $75. There's no network uh, with regards to the hearing exam benefit. They can go anywhere, submit the claim to us. We'll pay up to $75. Hearing aid benefit per ear, $200 day one, $300 in year two, $400 in year three. So you'll kind of see as we go through it, you might be saying, okay, yeah, I get why, you know, maybe the over 65 clients go for the prime start total. But again, it's 18 and older, the owner of the policy. So um, just to give you a heads up on that one, but that's kind of why we made that product because the hearing benefit higher maximum um, for that senior population. Prime start access, as we go through this one, you'll see, okay, maybe this is for the younger generation. Maybe that. Um, 30 to 55 range, right? We have LASIK, we have teeth whitening, we have child ortho, um, those kind of things stick out um, in that age range. So we built that product uh, for that. But again, 18 and older, a 90 year old can purchase this plan as well. Dental max benefit, 1,000 day one, jumps up to 2,000 in year two. Again, Preventive Plus is on the Prime Star Access plan as well. Deductible, same as Prime Star Total, zero dollars for preventive. $50 for basic and major. Uh, preventive services are covered at 100% day one in network. So Prime Star Total is going to be um, our high plan. Prime Star Access is going to be a little bit cheaper. And one of the reasons it is a little bit cheaper is the out of network coinsurance. So preventive is covered at 100% day one in network. You'll see the out of network coverage right underneath that. Basic is covered at 65% day one, jumps up to 80% in year two in network. Major 20% day one goes to 50% in year two. You'll see the out of network right underneath that as well. Another difference between Prime Star Total and Prime Star Access is on Prime Star Access, Major does cover teeth whitening. Um, that's a, just a little, little bit different thing that we threw in the Prime Star Access, but teeth whitening is not on Prime Star Total or on the value plan. I'm gonna go be going over here in just a little bit. Also child ortho. 
under age 19, starts off at 15% day one, jumps to 50% in year two, lifetime max per person of 1,000. Also a very unique feature is LASIK on our dental plan. Um, same thing as our hearing benefit on the Prime Star Total plan. There's no network. You can go anywhere. Some of the claims to us will pay $125 per eye years one and two, and then $250 per eye years three plus. So you kind of see those features that we put into Prime Star Access might be geared more towards that younger generation, but again, it's 18 and older with no max age on all three of our products. Prime Star Value, uh, this is the third plan we launched, and this is just as the uh, the name represents itself. It's a value plan. It's somewhere in that 19 to 20 dollar range. Uh, Prime Star Access is in that um, low 40 range, and then Prime Star Total is in that high 40s mid. 50 range uh, with Prime Star Total. So Prime Star Value is our value plan. Uh, really cool, unique features on this one as well for being a value plan. Dental Max benefit, $750. It does not increase in year two, but Preventive Plus with, is in this plan as well. So preventive services do not go towards that $750. Deductible, same as Prime Star Total and Prime Star Access, $0 for preventive, $50 for basic and major. Preventive services are covered at 90% day one, jumps up to 100% in year two. Basic is covered at 50% day one, goes to 80% in year two. And major, Prime Star Total, Prime Star Access, no waiting period, Prime Star Value, 15% in year two. We don't cover major in day one or the first 12 months. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Now let's look at credit for prior coverage. So you're talking to a client who's, who's had 12 months of previous um, dental insurance um, it hasn't had any more than 60 days lapse in coverage on the prime star value plan it would be 180 15 day one on prime star access it would be 80 50 50 day one and then on prime star total um, it would be 190 50 day one that's huge right so if they do have that, ask that question. If they are coming off of a group plan, they can use that. If they're coming off of another fully insured uh, individual plan, they can use that as well. So 190.50, 180.50, and 180.15 if they're coming off of that credit for prior coverage. So this piece right here is actually on our marketing side. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. It's my favorite piece. I love talking about it. Um, I think. Um, if, if clients um, are anything like me, they love to see things on paper, how a product works, how it's supposed to work, um, and, and this piece does just that. Um, it really shows them how our product works um, in, in, in real time. So what I did is, and, and a member can do this as well, um, we have a dental cost estimator. And on that dental cost estimator, they can type in a zip code and they can see what the average cost is with having no insurance what, it, what the average cost is for a crown, a denture, any dental procedures, they can look that up by zip code and see what that is. I did just that. I, tipped, I typed in a Minnesota zip code and I, and I clicked crown. And a crown in this specific Minnesota zip code is just shy of $1,400 if there's no insurance. That's the average cost in that specific zip code. So if someone has no insurance and they go in, let's just say tomorrow, and they get a crown. They're gonna be paying around $1,400 in this specific zip code. Now, let's again, let's focus on the major um, for time purposes, but the, the blue column is for basic and that dark gray column is for, is for preventive services. Um, so, just shy of $1,400, and let's say they purchase the Prime Star Total plan. Prime Star Total covers major at 20% day one, but also, let's say that that client went to an in-network provider. As I mentioned before, our average negotiated rate is about 30%. So take that 1368, multiply it by 30%, it comes out to be about $804. So without even talking about the product yet, right? You're not talking about the no waiting periods or anything like that. Just talking about in-network providers, you're saving that client close to $600. Now that's a story within itself, but then take that 804, multiply it by 20%, come up to 642. That's a day one savings of 53%. That's huge. John was talking about it before. Dental and vision 
is has become a hot topic with whether it's in the ACA space or the Medicare space, clients are asking about dental and vision. If you say that client 53%, don't you think those referrals are going to start flowing in, right? They're talking, saying, hey, you know, I thought I was going to have to spend close to $1,400 on a crown, but I came out paying $642. That's a great referral, referral product, right? And throw in on top, you're saving a 53%. Maybe they do need some life insurance. Maybe they need another product, right? You're saving them money. They might need something else. Now let's look at year two, right? Jumps up to 50% in year two on major. So take that 804, multiply by 50%, 402. That's a, that's a savings of 71%. So whichever way you're looking at, whether they need to use it tomorrow or 12 months down the road, you're supplying them with that value. And again, I'm going to bring it up, credit for prior coverage. Say they had credit for prior coverage. They get 50% day one on major. So that's 402. That's a day one savings of 71%. So that's just adding that feature along with it. It goes a really, really long way. And especially during this time period of, of open enrollment in AEP, I imagine a lot of your clients are coming off of another plan, primarily probably a group plan, right? They're, they're retiring or they've had something previously, they're probably coming off of a plan that they've had for 12 months, right? So ask that question, get them credit for fire coverage, get them 50% day one on major, that's big. So switching gears over to vision, of course, no waiting tiers with IMED and BSP. Um, standalone or bundled, both of our products, dental and vision are standalone products. Um, they can purchase just dental, they can purchase just vision, or they can purchase both as well. Nationwide networks, as I mentioned before, we have both IMED and BSP. So if they've had IMED um, in, in, in years previous and they absolutely love it, well, they're probably going to stick with it, right? When it comes to vision, I always boil it down to three things. Where are they used to going? What's their budget and benefit frequencies? Those three things. Where are they used to going? What's their budget? Benefit frequencies is really the three questions um, that you need to talk to your client about when it comes to vision insurance. The first one we're going to be going over is VSP. VSP is um, a little bit more expensive than IMED, but the benefit frequencies are more frequent. Also, there's a little bit higher um, allowance as well. VSP is just over $16, but benefit frequencies once per year for everything. So an exam, eyeglasses, and contact frames is once per year. Also, a little bit higher deductible is going to be a little bit lower as well. You'll see everything covered in full in network. You'll see out of network to the right hand side. Frame and contact allowance in network is 150 over IMED here in just a little bit. Uh, but a little bit more expensive plan. You get more frequent um, on the exam, on the eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames, and, and a higher um, allowance as well. Good name recognition with VSP, Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart. Um, you know, we really see, we really do see a 50-50 split across our business of VSP and IMED. So I think it really does boil down to where clients used to go in. So switching gears to IMED, IMED is just over $10.50. So it's about a $6, just under $6 difference between IMED and VSP. Um, benefit frequencies are going to be different, right? A little bit um, less expensive plan, $12 or uh, once a year for an exam, of course eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames once every two years. So VSP was once every year for everything. Uh, IMED is once every two years for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames. Again, a little bit cheaper. That deductible goes up to $25. Um, covered in full, same as VSP on the left-hand side. Frame and contact allowance goes to $130. VSP was $150. So again, those three questions, where they used to go in, benefit frequencies, and what's their budget, right? If their budget's in that $10 range, then I'm at it. If their budget's in that $16 range, then BSP. So agent support, um, you know, we've, we've done a, a good job. I believe we've done a good job. We've, we've listened to the agents out there in the marketplace today, uh, what they'd like to see um, different um, here at Emeritus. And one of those is the producer portal that I mentioned before. And, uh, and we, we heard everything. We did a lot of testing. Uh, with agents, and I think we came out with a really good portal that now you can go to view your book of business, uh, real-time data, all of that information, commission statements, all of that information can now be viewed on that producer portal. The next thing is the marketing side. Um, you know, brochures are still a, a hot topic, right? Everyone loves to see brochures. 
um, on our enrollment site, you really don't need to carry around a brochure because um, there's a drop down that says, um, you know, additional benefits and you can really view exactly what I just went over. But also on our agent marketing side is that flyer that I went over that providing economic value, real time, how our product works. We also have like social media posts, a lot of cool information on there. Also sales connect team. Uh, we've grown our sales connect team. Uh, I think we're now hovering around eight, eight to 10 sales connect team um, reps. So if you, if you have questions, if your clients have questions, they can reach out to sales connect as well. So the producer portal, uh, one other thing you should do if you haven't yet, if you're still receiving paper checks from Emeritus, go in your producer portal, get set up on EFT, um, and that way you can receive weekly commissions. We're, we're paying only those who are set up on EFT weekly commissions. If you're still set up on, on paper checks, uh, which I imagine a lot of people probably aren't, but if you are, uh, you, you still receive monthly commissions. So you got to be on EFT to receive those weekly commissions. Um, again, see your block of business. Um, there is a little trick on there. You can view your whole book of business by um, hitting look up client by um, policy number and just type in 010 because all of our um, policies start with 010 and it'll pull up all your clients on there. Uh, commission statements, of course. And another feature that we've uh, heard about a lot in the past is ID cards. Um, a lot of clients still love to have ID cards mailed to them, which is fine. We have that capability. Uh, but also we do um, have electronically submitted ID cards as well. Uh, but now you can go to that producer portal. You can go to that specific client and you can request an ID card as well. So just a lot of cool information on the producer portal. If you haven't registered yet, it's easy, producerportal.emeritus.com. Go on there, register, and then you can automatically see everything that you've been writing previously as well. Agent marketing site, explore.emeritus.com slash agent marketing. Goodness, this has everything. It has social media posts. It has um, brochures. It has flyers. It has trifolds. Um, it has email templates. Everything you can think of when it comes to marketing, the marketing site has. Um, everything I have is on the marketing site. Um, so if you think we're holding anything back, we're not. Everything that I have access to, we put up on that marketing site. There's um, share with clients. There's client-facing material. Um, just again, just like I mentioned, the flyer that I went over providing economic value, how our product works. Cool stuff like that is on there. Um, social media posts. So. As I mentioned before, when you do get contracted with us, you receive that personalized hyperlink, you can throw that thing up on social media. You can throw it um, on an email and, and a client can enroll themselves. We don't ask for um, an e-signature or social security number. We don't ask for any of that information. So it's a very seamless enrollment process. But the agent market site also has information on step-by-step -step tutorial on how to enroll. Sales Connect team, as I mentioned before, they're there for anything and everything. Whether a client has questions, you can you can tell them to reach out to Sales Connect team. Whether you have questions, they can help as well. We also actually just launched a Spanish line um, that now Spanish-speaking clients can call in, and we have assistance now that can help um, help those people as well. So great, great uh, thing that we have now for English and Spanish uh, on our Sales Connect. Um, Sales Connect team can also help you with your you are with your uh, personalized hyperlink. If you're listening to this right now, and you're like, I have no idea where my hyperlink is. Reach out to Sales Connect team; they can forward you over your welcome email um, with your hyperlink as well. Um, again, they're they're there for anything and everything. I can go on and on about Sales Connect team, but uh, if you have questions, they're the ones to reach out to. So member support, uh, member portal, uh, just like a portal for an, uh, an agent. We think it's um, we think it's great to have a very um, well versed portal for a member as well. Um, you can look at the plan on there. You can also order ID cards. Um, the member can themselves. Uh, account information is on there. Um, claims, all of that information. Dental cost estimator that I was talking about before is on the member portal, um, and you can just. Tell them to go to emeritus.com slash sign in, and it'll take them directly to this member portal site. 
So selling can be easy. I've, I've mentioned it probably a hundred times now on that shopping hyperlink, that, that, uh, that personalized URL that you receive once you get contracted with us. So if you're not contracted with us yet, what's going to happen is you're going to receive a welcome email and inside that welcome email will be that hyperlink. Okay. So every so often, make sure you're using your right hyperlink because your hyperlink looks exactly like our um, homepage um, here at Emeritus. But the only difference is up in the top right hand corner, there's an agent tab. That agent tab will have your information and not Emeritus information. So every so often, just click up in that top right hand corner, and make sure it's your information. Um, you can also access your hyperlink. If again, you're saying, I have no idea where my hyperlink is, you can log into your producer portal and you can pull that link off of there as well. But again, the producer portal is not how you enroll clients. This is how you view your clients. The enrollment process is done through your hyperlink. So remember that as well. Again, talked about it. You can share your hyperlink through anything, social media, email, uh, put it as your email signature. You can create a QR code. Um, you can just go to Google, create a QR code. Um, and then you can take a flyer from, from our marketing website and throw that uh, QR code on there and send it out to clients as well. There's a lot of different ways that you can use a, a personalized hyperlink because there is no back office login to enroll a client, right? I know a lot of it, a lot of the times, Met, MetSup, MA, of course, life insurance, you know, there's a login to get to the e app. There's no login to get to your, to your uh, enrollment for, for Meredith Dental and Vision. It's just that hyperlink, you can send it off, they can enroll themselves. So here's what the, uh, the enrollment site looks like. Again, that agent tab will have your information. It won't have a Meredith information, it'll have your information once you hit that agent tab. So again, every so often, make sure you're using the right hyperlink. Um, as mentioned before, minimal information is needed. We're zip code rated, we're not age rated. So type in the zip code and the, and the products will populate um and that specific zip code we do have some state specifics um there's about 44 states um, that have the three products that we went over and there's about four states that have some variations of those three products they're pretty close um illinois connecticut um being two of those and, and new york as well uh the, the the biggest outlier that we have is washington it's a totally different product it's called advantage plus um, but that's the only, that's the only state that has a totally different product is Washington state. But once they, if you do sell in Washington, type in a Washington zip code, that specific product will populate on there. Um, again, the three products will pop up, um, after you hit, yes, I want dental. Yes, I want vision. Dental will populate first. Um, you can compare the plans as I went over before. If you're comparing PrimeStar Total and PrimeStar Access, you'll be able to see, okay, PrimeStar Total has a little bit higher max. Um, it, it offers, um, PrimeStar Access offers LASIK and teeth whitening. You can compare the plans with a client or again, they can compare them themselves if they're enrolling themselves. There's that view plan details tab at the bottom. Pretty much exactly what I just went over on the day one benefits, year two benefits, co-insurance, what's, what's covered, all that information is on that view plan details. So that's why I say a brochure is really not needed. But again, I understand it's great to have and we, we have it available, but view that plan details, you'll see all of the details regarding the product as well. You can also share this quote. So say a client says, yeah, great, love the product, send me a quote. And you can send them the quote and they can just enroll straight off of that quote as well. Or you can just send them the hyperlink and they can start from the beginning. I do want to say we are, uh, we have launched uh, an agent bonus program. This is a per app bonus. Um, we're paying $20 for each eligible individual dental case that's paid via EFT and $10 for those that are paid via credit card. We're also paying $5 for vision cases. So how you, um, how the become eligible is it has to be um, 10 or more. So once you write 10 dental policies, you'll start getting paid. Um, same thing for vision as well. Once you write 10 vision policies, you'll start getting paid that $5. Um, also, two months premium. So say you signed up a client today, they paid their premium because of an effective date tomorrow, pay their premium, and then turn around, they pay their premium second month. That qualifies for an eligible um, dental or vision policy. And then once you get up to 10 on that, we'll pay you. But again, once you get to 10, say you get to 10, we'll automatically, we're going to pay you $200, right? You don't, 
it doesn't start like number 11, you don't start getting the $20. We'll, we'll back pay you the, the whole 10, but you got to get paid. To, to get paid, you got to hit the 10, 10 marker for dental. Um, and then if you want to get the $5 for vision, 10, 10 vision policies as well. Um, I'll send this off to John as well. We have a good um, flyer um, that you can take a look at that has looks exactly like this. It'll show you when those get paid, all the qualifications, all that good stuff. But it's a per app bonus. Um, really, the gist of it is, is uh, the client has to pay two premiums, and you get paid twenty dollars for um, for a client who pays via EFT, 20, and uh, ten dollars for for credit card. So again, I want to say thank you. Again, I know it's a, a busy time of the year for you. Uh, enjoy uh, uh, jumping on here, learning more about Emeritus. Hopefully, credit for prior coverage, weekly commission, producer portal. Um, it excites you. Also, the agent bonus. That's going all the way until January 1st. We started it September 1st. It's going all the way to January 1st. Um, so it's a very long uh, bonus program, and it's during the heart of the busy season. So hopefully you can qualify for it. But I think credit for prior coverage is going to be huge. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. But, John, if, there's, if there are any questions on here, I'd be happy to answer them as well. There's a couple that popped up, Taylor. We've got one that asks. Okay. Um, for us to review the URL again, to access the marketing materials, we'll make certain that we put that in the follow-up. But if you had that handy, that'd be great. Okay, so for the marketing site, it's explore.emeritus.com slash agent marketing. You'll see it on the on the left-hand side of the screen. That's how you get to the marketing site. Um, the hyperlink will be your own unique hyperlink. So you'll, you'd receive that via email or reach out to Sales Connect and they'll they'll resend it to you. That's awesome. I cannot overemphasize the value of that hi hyperlink. You, you mentioned, Taylor, how many ways you can use that. I think it's just invaluable. And of course, mm -hmm. you have your own website as an agent. Obviously, you can link it on there too. So there's a bunch of different things that can really maximize the value of that. Thank you for that. The other question is, for prior coverage, if someone has had creditable dental coverage for the past year, they don't have to wait a year to get year two emeritus benefits, is the question? That's correct, yeah. They're, if they've had 12 months of previous insurance with no more than 60 days grace period, yeah, they'll jump up to year two benefits. So, um, you know, access in total, we don't have waiting periods on those products, but they jump up, the benefits jump up in year two. So yes, if they're coming off of another fully insured, right, we won't take a discount plan or like a DHMO plan or a Medicare Advantage plan, but if they're coming off a of fully insured, whether it's group or individual, we'll jump them up to year two co-insurance benefits. Awesome. That takes care of that. There's two other questions, but you covered them through the course of your presentation. So I'm gonna pull control back here really quickly and go through some reasons why folks would want to work with Emeritus through uh, Premier Marketing, run through some things really quickly. You obviously can do a number of different things when it comes to contracting. And when we work with Emeritus, we want to make certain that we're using their electronic links to make this as quick as possible, because that's one thing we didn't discuss really is the fact this doesn't require any certification. You can really get the product in your portfolio quickly and underway, but for other programs that may not work that way that you might have interest in. So we have that uh, Assurance Bay, the Sure LC program that you can use to create uh, your agent profile and do other contracts electronically should that be in your best interest. We do offer discounted e &O for qualified agents. What makes you a qualified agent? Well, you got a contract with us. But this is a program you own. So it's not like being added to a blanket e &O policy for just one program. You got to worry about where you can get coverage elsewhere. This is something you own. We're a huge organization, do a lot of business, but we don't have everything. There are programs out there that I don't think you can talk to any marketing organization and they can justifiably claim that they have everything. So you need to make certain that you can satisfy the requirements of different insurance companies regardless whom you're contracting through. This gives you that opportunity to afford that protection and fulfill that requirement you have in contracting with organizations and carriers. We do offer discounted continuing education programs through our association with WebCE as well to keep your license in play. And you can actually pick up a modified guarantee issue 
disability income plan for yourself on what you're paid commission because as an independent agent, you create your own benefit package, a great way to protect yourself and your ability to earn and get paid a commission to do it. Much as where today's presentation is being recorded and will be available on our website and on our YouTube channel, past presentations have been as well. And you'll find that some of the different things that you can do to market yourself, you can use dental programs as a seminar or webinar topic and use that when you go into centers of influence in the community. So we have different recordings of presentations that speak to how you might go about doing that, in addition to getting some additional information on different products um, that may be necessary for you to fill out your portfolio. This program, the Medicare Center program, is available to contracted agents without cost. In the vernacular of JJ Walker, it's free, however that works. But there are some awesome improvements that are actually being added to that as we speak. These programs enable you to access multiple quoting engines through a singular logon. They're, they're uh, fueled by Connecture, Sunfire, and CSG with all the, the different accoutrement that comes with that, the benefits that you have of working with that, including being able to deliver side-by-side -side plan comparisons, collect the scope of appointment and store it for that 10 year period, record the calls that new requirement that's available through this program as well. And it will store them for that 10 year period. Yeah, suck up some of the space on that if you try to do it yourself. It does also give you that contact management system, a CRM that allows you to do the year over year uh, reviews very simply when you're talking about medication programs because then you have that information stored in there and it gives you then the opportunity to also work with those folks throughout the year. It also makes certain that you have available to you much as what Taylor was talking about with the microsite and the information that's available through that. One's available through this program as well and it gives you then that extra exposure on the World Wide Web. It, a mobile application of this is being released today. So something that you can do on your smartphones or other devices um, to make certain that as you're on the go, you're able to access the system easily and make it work. We have also added Lead Center as part of this program where you can do uh, digital leads or live type transfer programs at minimal cost through this program. You can turn it on and off, whatever you want to do with those programs and, and make certain that it works for you. It does also have a repository of other resources, um, such as sales scripts, other ways of making certain that you um, have access to programs that can improve your efficiency and move forward. I'm gonna check really quickly. Uh, a question that pops up is, will Medicare Center release an iPhone app? And I believe, Jeff, that is exactly what I'm referring to with the uh, release today. Uh, the mobile application and it is available i know on both uh normal avenues to receive the program so that's telling me that obviously an iphone will be one of the tools that will be available uh, to use through medicare center that's one of the reasons i'm like i'm a samsung guy an android man but that's the way it works you know there's a whole bunch of apple devices out there and uh these programs that the mobile device should work on both we do also make certain that you have the information you need to understand your full payment on your sales efforts. Uh, Taylor mentioned the incentives that Emeritus has on their programs and how you can add additional dollars to your bank account by doing what you're gonna do anyway. And that is concentrating on the needs of your prospects and clients and earning additional dollars for doing so. That may in certain circumstances, help you qualify for trips that are sponsored by the carriers, but it can also help you qualify for premier incentive programs as well. We do offer different lead programs to help put you in front of folks as well, where a contact call list can maybe be made available to you. Uh, one of the things we hear a lot about is, hey, I wanna work that T65 market. Here's an idea, work that T64 market, market dental programs, because some of these folks may be retiring at 65 and they may go, well, gee, I'm up against it. I've got this much coverage with dental at work, won't be enough, but well, 
add on a fee for service program that's going to pay regardless of their other coverages and you're going to help them out and you're filling your sales funnel for t65s as we go i mentioned that this is a great topic for you to use in webinars or seminars and that is delivered through community-based programs so being aware of these programs and having them available if you work a retail opportunity or if you're working with a faith-based organization or year over year uh, changes in Medicare, there's a whole bunch of those being set up right now. A great follow-up is the dental presentation because folks will realize that, hey, this program might have some dental coverage, but it's not enough, or this one doesn't have it at all, I need help. It's also a way for you to market. So if you have a dental program in your pocket, such as what Emeritus offers with all of those providers, work with the providers. You don't see a lot of uh, pressure on this type of delivery of our services when you're looking at dentists versus physicians. A whole bunch of folks in the Medicare Advantage world wants to work with every doctor in the world. Sometimes that's a good idea, sometimes it's not, and sometimes there might be a whole bunch of folks in a particular office. You don't have that same pressure when you work with dentists. So review that provider marketing opportunity uh, webinar and it might just be the thing that helps you get into more households throughout the year. Certain carriers do generate prospects for us as well. These are generally Medicare Advantage or prescription drug folks, but it's a quid pro quo situation. They're scratching your back, you're scratching theirs. It's one that you have a relationship with. And so that's why it's important to know your local agent managers and be involved with these carriers as well. We do have an internet lead program and direct mail support, a great T65 locator that I'll talk about in regards to dental in a moment, and then a referral reminder program, I guess is a good way to put this. It tells you and drops some of the different hints as to how you can take a singular lead and expand it well beyond that simply by asking certain questions at certain times or even remembering to ask. So that's something that is also recorded and made available to you. That mail program, well, it's based on production, deeply discounts the cost of mail so you can do it consistently and get the true value out of it. And you can qualify through sales with health programs and through final expense programs. It's offered through preferred lead vendors that have been vetted and have the systems in play to help you take advantage of those programs as quickly as possible and also make certain that the correspondence that's going out is compliant. We don't want to um, put anybody in hot water. We do also have a program that can help you purchase unworked fresh direct mail responses. So this is a different program where you purchase leads in different areas and the cost can vary according to the plan type, the area, the time of year, but it's a great way to fill out your schedule or use it as part of your regular marketing program. Internet lead program, well, it's Facebook and it's a program aimed at final expense and Medicare leads. The thing about any type of social media lead, it's pretty much a microwave lead, but it's a microwave response uh, anticipated, I'll put it that way. Folks are gonna be clicking on a whole bunch of stuff if they're on a social media site and you may not be the only one they're clicking. So we wanna make certain that you're aware of that and that it requires some quick work. A T65 locator, this is a great tool for you to use if you stack appointments, particularly in an area, one cancels on you. Well, figure out who lives in that area that may well be a candidate for dental coverage and do a little bit of, hey, I'm in the neighborhood, I've been visiting uh, down the street, wanted to see if you'd be interested in some of the new dental programs that are available. A great way to fill your schedule, another way to market dental programs, another way to do it compliantly, and a great way to add value to the contract that you have with Emeritus. That referral program, it's not just for the sales process. If you're working within Medicare Center and you've got that CRM set up and you got folks in there, visit with them about their coverage year over year but remember to ask for referrals. This can really help you drive uh, the number of folks that you visit with up, and it gives you an opportunity for the best type of lead program that's out there. We say and do all this simply because we want your business. We wanna be referable for you as well. 
And so we're asking you to make this a part of your personal marketing plan. Neat thing about it, no certification. Contracting's pretty darn quick. You can have it in play before AEP, and it's a great way for you then to do some things that can affect your business now and throughout the year. This point in time, we're over the hour. I apologize, I talk too much, even with the caffeine in my system. I wanna thank the folks that are on the line at a dumb business with us uh, here at Premier. We appreciate that relationship. We hope to grow and enrich it. And that's one of the reasons why we show the entire portfolio of products that we offer and feature programs such as what we're doing today. If you haven't done business with us here at Premier, I thank you for the opportunity to do so in the future and anticipate conversations to make that happen. But most of all, as what Taylor mentioned when we first started his portion of the presentation, thank you for coming on this webinar, investing your time in learning more about a product that can really help drive your business through AP and you all year long and give us the opportunity then to grow together. I thank you for that. So until we're able to visit again, I'm checking really quickly for questions. We're okay. Taylor, I thank you for your help once again. Um, and until we're able to visit, I wish you all good selling. Thanks so much.